There's a continent buried under two miles of ice, and before it froze, something was there. Ancient maps show mountains and rivers that shouldn't exist. What if Antarctica wasn't always frozen? Antarctica, the coldest, most lifeless place on Earth, just ice, snow, and darkness for half the year. But rewind the clock a few million years, and Antarctica looked completely different. It had forests. It had rivers. The temperature was warm enough for life to exist. And if life existed there, then maybe civilizations existed there too. There's actual evidence that suggests something was in Antarctica long before the ice took over. And some of that evidence is so strange that scientists still can't explain it. Here's where things get weird. In 1513, a Turkish admiral named Piri Reis created a map. This map showed the coastline of Antarctica. But Antarctica wasn't officially discovered until 1820. That's over 300 years later. So how did Piri Reis draw a map of a place that supposedly nobody knew existed? And it gets stranger. The map doesn't just show Antarctica covered in ice, it shows the actual coastline underneath the ice. The mountains, the bays, the rivers. Details that we only confirmed in the 1950s when we used modern technology to scan beneath the ice. Piri Rice claimed he used older maps as his source, maps that dated back thousands of years. So who made those original maps? Scientists have studied Antarctica's history. They've drilled into the ice and found that Antarctica used to be part of a supercontinent called Gondwana around 180 million years ago. It wasn't frozen, it had plants and dinosaurs. Scientists have found fossils of ferns, trees, and coal deposits there. Around 34 million years ago, Antarctica started drifting south and ice began to form. By 14 million years ago, the entire continent was covered. But here's the mystery. Ancient civilizations had stories about a lost land in the far south. The Greeks had legends about Terra Australis, a giant southern continent. And they weren't the only ones. The Piri Rice map isn't alone. There's another map from 1531 called the Orontius Phineas map that also shows Antarctica without ice. Rivers flowing, mountain ranges in the interior. In the 1960s, Professor Charles Hapgood compared these maps to modern surveys of Antarctica's bedrock. The old maps matched the actual geography underneath the ice. His conclusion? These maps were copied from even older sources that showed Antarctica before the ice. In 1976, scientists studying satellite images found anomalies in the ice, shapes that looked like pyramids, too symmetrical to be random mountains. In 2012, images from Google Earth showed pyramid-like structures poking through the ice near the coast. Scientists say they're natural formations called nunataks, but they look too perfect, too symmetrical. In 2017, scientists found traces of ancient rainforests buried under the ice. The fossils were 90 million years old, proving Antarctica was capable of supporting complex life. But what about 12,000 years ago? The last ice age ended around 11,700 years ago. What if Antarctica was habitable during that time? What if there were people living there before the ice fully covered everything? Their entire civilization would be buried under miles of ice right now, and we'd never know unless we could dig through all that ice. But Antarctica is the hardest place on Earth to explore. The ice is over two miles thick, the weather is deadly, and international treaties limit what kind of exploration you can do. So was there really a lost empire beneath Antarctica? We don't know. The ancient maps are real. The pyramid-like structures are real. Antarctica once was warm and green, but connecting that to an ancient civilization? Still a mystery. What we do know is Antarctica holds secrets. Every time scientists explore, they find something unexpected. Ancient forests, strange formations, evidence of life that shouldn't be there. 
Maybe there's nothing down there but rock and ice. Or maybe there's something waiting to be discovered. The ruins of a civilization that existed before history began. And if that's true, it would change everything we know about human history.